For elections, you, uh, you know, many of these announcements get a greater degree of power, greater degree of, uh, uh, you know, momentum as well. So we'll have to see whether this actually becomes a requirement for MNCs. I want to go across now and welcome onto our show uh, uh, TV Mohandas Pai, is chairman of RN Capital, a uh, very well-known entrepreneur, investor, and a person who speaks on these issues. He's also from the state of Karnataka. Mr. Pai, welcome. Thank you for your time, sir. On this issue, you know, on... Uh, uh, you know, uh, Canada parochialism, which is very much a uh, part and parcel of Karnataka politics, uh, you know, uh, 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 regardless of which party has been in power in some form or the other. But on this particular issue, a few days ago, you know, 60% Canada signage requirement in commercial establishments. Now this, uh, you know, slightly startling uh, uh, suggestion by the minister, sir, that that MNCs, not tech companies for now, they may have to you know, do this later, but at least for now, no software or tech companies, but MNCs in general have to display the number of Kanadiga employees they have. What do you think about this, sir? I think it's a very wrong thing and unwelcoming and creates fear in the minds of investors and MNCs. Let us remember in the last four months, we had a set of people going around the city on vehicles, abusing all traders, abusing people who are non gas, breaking yes. down and blackening signboards, and they got away with it. Then they went on the airport road, attacked a hotel, attacked their establishment, broke their glasses, broke everything else, and, and, the, and the police was watching by. Element of fear which has been created in the city of Bangalore because of all these kind of people doing this violence and the police keeping quiet. Yes, the police took action the next day because mm. everybody pushed back and everybody rose and protested. The police took action, but there's an element of fear. Now, the yes. government wants to do this. Imagine the same set of elements will go all around, say, show us this, show us that, and go harass them and try to do many illegal things. What is the yes. protection for people? You're getting fear. Fear in Bangalore, fear in the city, which is the home to one of the largest number of multinationals ever for any country, any city in the world. And exactly. this city is welcoming of all outsiders. None of the MNCs or any company in this city discriminate against Kandidigas or anybody. Nobody hmm. discriminates. Everybody has an open recruitment policy where yes. anybody has to pass a test or an interview process and is very objective. If the government has failed to skill the local Kandidigas, very many of them, particularly from North Karnataka, to get them the jobs, the government's problem. You know, this government has cut the budget for higher education last year and this year. Hmm. And they talk about, uh, you know, creating and creating jobs. You have to spend more money on skill development, not skilling them for retail jobs, clerical jobs, skill them for engineer jobs. You have to spend one and one and a half lakhs to six months to train them. We right. did a program about many years ago, and Meera Kumar was a social welfare minister because mm. she said you are not hiding people from the research community. We got 100 engineers in the research community, put them in civil IT, spend one and a half crores. And, you know, after six months, almost all got a job. Many of them got two, three job offers. We did it for one right. more round. Then we told that institute, go to Delhi and get money from Mira Kumar Social Welfare Department. When they went to Delhi, they asked for a bribe. Hmm. So if the whole program, drop, government should train people, get, Absolutely. you know, top 10 engineering institutes, triple uh, IT, and I'll pay them money to train people, and then ask everybody to come, they'll get recruited. Then you see, today, nobody discriminates. Nobody hides you because you are a... You know, you belong to such place, such place. Everybody mm. wants people who are locals. That's so is this, is this just the political field. then, Mr. Pai? Is this, is, no, you know, no. is this because elections are coming or is there some other pressure? I don't know because it's very unbecoming of this government to do that, to be parochial. Because, you know, Chief Minister Sidramaya has been Chief Minister earlier. He yes. knows what is Bangalore. He has been helpful. And I don't know why he's doing this communal and all this kind of politics. You know, we have the Minister for Bangalore, D.K. Kumar. He's a very strong man. He understands yeah. the growth of Bangalore. When he does business himself, he understands the impact on business if all these things happen. Because mm. what I'm saying is, you are giving a big stick to all these unruly elements to go harass people and exactly. engage in all kinds of activities and create fear at a time when you must create jobs. You know, I want to end by saying one thing. Last year, 2023, 20, you know, 23, 23, NASCOM gave a report that Hyderabad hired more people in technology in Bangalore. First time in 30 years. Correct. First time. The situation is very competitive. Why should MNC come here and work under these conditions and be subject to all these kind of unruly elements? When the government cannot protect them, the rule of law is broken because of this, because of parochial politics. They came into all these elements, all governments, they came in. And why should they come here if they do all these kind of things? They can go anywhere mm. in this country. 
We want all these companies to come here. We want them to create jobs. We want them to grow this economy. And for right. that purpose, the government has to spend money on skilling locals, giving them very good training, giving them very good education, not cutting the higher education budget. What is and the spending mood? More money. Let me what tell you, the in the whole of the what South, the mood, one, sir, I want to give you data. In the whole yes. of the South, the gross enrollment rate in higher education is the smallest for Karnataka. Kerala is better, Tamil Nadu is better, Telangana is better, Andhra is better. Smallest for Karnataka, even Important. though we are the richest state, we are the most advanced state. So government must invest in better higher education, give more scholarship, not this. What is, what is the mood in the MNC community when they hear something like this, sir? You have talked about how this will affect investment. What about existing industries who already put a lot of They'll money into scared. Bengaluru and Karnataka? They're very scared. They're very scared. Just yesterday or two, two days back in the Tamil Nadu budget, the government announced any MNC coming there, GCC coming there, for a salary above a certain thing, they'll pay 30% subsidy. 20% hmm. right. subsidy per second year. They announced all that. Everybody is going after the same set of people. They're envious of Bangalore. Bangalore has done very well. And when everybody is competing and doing more, what is our government doing? Creating fear, unnecessary regulation, harassing people, opening up for all these unruly elements to go after people. So yeah. Come on, this is not the way to do it. Bangalore is the most open global city in India. It has room for everybody. It has prospered because of that. Bangalore the largest collection of GCCs in the world. Absolutely. More than 450 or something. I mean, more, very large number. Largest number of tech people more than Silicon Valley in the world. Right. It's a right. great city. I... Exports $80 billion. You want to hurt all that and create fear and stop further expansion and further not to make sure people come here. What do you want to do? Correct. It's, you know, I, 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 uh, Mr. Mohandas Pai, I thank you for joining me and, and, you know, giving us a reality check on this announcement. We'll have to see whether this, uh, you know, the words of this minister actually translates into reality. Uh, you know, but one never knows because as far as governments go, these things have become realities in the past. So there's reason to believe this could also become an actual rule. But thank you, sir, for putting thank it you. into perspective for us and telling us what the industry actually thinks about it. Now I'd like to go into...